Happening right now, a Buffalo community is holding a vigil to remember a man who was gunned down on Christmas Eve. It's one of more than a dozen shootings that police think could be linked to gang violence. 7 Eyewitness News reporter Jill Perkins is live on Clout Street tonight. Well, the streets of Buffalo certainly have been a dangerous place lately. As you mentioned, 17 days, 17 shootings, eight of which were fatal, including one that happened here on Christmas Eve at Klaus and Metcalf Streets. It claimed the life of 24 year old Matthew Tucker. You can see friends and family and community leaders gathering here where his life was taken uh, less than a week ago. Now, again, people here in the neighborhood hosting the vigil because they say there has been too much violence in Buffalo recently. Again, and those numbers hope police are hoping will not continue to rise. Now I did speak with members of Buffalo Snug as well as the Buffalo Peacemakers here. They say the problem right now is searching for remedies. How do we fix this situation in our cities? Well, they've of course have been working on implementing programs and working with uh, law enforcement officials, but they say the biggest thing that needs to happen is people with information, witnesses, people in the communities need to come forward and tell police exactly what they know. There needs to be evidence before people, police can make arrests, and that's exactly what the leaders that you see behind me speaking tonight have been saying. They're urging people to contact the Buffalo police with any information. Of course, this is all um, in connection to a recent rash of suspected gang violence. We'll have much more tonight at 11 o'clock. For now, reporting live in Buffalo, Joe Perkins, 7 Eyewitness News.